Kia ora. I'm David Chaston with 90 at 9, brought to you by interest.co.nz. As we get everything you need to know in 90 seconds at 9 o'clock with news China is to sue Australia at the WTO. But first, US durable goods order levels in May were slightly disappointing, rising 2.3% from April when a 2.8% bounce back was expected. Still, this was the largest month-on-month increase since July 2020. And American new jobless claims came at a relatively high 393,000 last week and more than expected too. There are now 3.2 million people on these benefits and while this is now far below the pandemic peak, it's also far above the 2 million level it needs to reach before they can say they're back at pre-pandemic levels. The US merchandise trade deficit rose to $86 billion in May with imports up and exports slipping. This result means that the annual total has now hit $1 trillion in the prior 12 months, or 4.5% of GDP. And we should note that a bipartisan but slimmed down $1 trillion infrastructure plan has been agreed, and the White House will now attempt to shepherd it through a closely divided Congress. In Mexico, there was something of a surprise rate hike overnight. They unexpectedly raised their benchmark rate for the first time in three years by a quarter percent to four and a quarter percent. It was a split decision. Concerns are mounting that persistently high inflation may threaten the economy's rebound there, and they took action despite previously describing current inflation as transitory. And the tit for tat between Australia and China continues. China said it will have filed a claim at the WTO over Australia's anti-dumping and anti-subsidy measures on Chinese exports of railway wheels, wind towers and stainless steel sinks. This would be the third recent WTO case between the two countries after Australia sued over Chinese tariffs on wine and barley. Meanwhile, China is making top-level efforts to extend its influence in the South Pacific, with President Xi making a personal phone call to Fiji's Prime Minister Bainan Marama. The Fijian leader apparently thanked China for its help in their current pandemic situation. The US Treasury 10-year yield starts today unchanged at 1.49%. The price of gold starts today at $1,775 an ounce, which is down $8 from this time yesterday. And oil prices a little changed from this time yesterday. In the US, they're just still at $73 a barrel, while the international Brent price is just on $74.50 a barrel. And the Kiwi dollar opens the day firm at 70.6 US cents. Against the Australian dollar, we're also firm at 93.2 Australian cents. And against the euro, we're a little firmer too at 59.2 euro cents. That means our trade weight index starts the day at 73.1. Kia ora, I'm David Chaston. That was 90 at 9, brought to you by interest.co.nz.